I thought I was going to see you at the Met Gala because I know you're there and you I look know. gorgeous. I we saw, missed each other. I saw pictures online of you. Man, oh man, you're just a fashion great pal. I mean, <laughs> I can't, you. I can't pull those nights off. I don't know, I don't know how they invite me to those things. You know, next time we should trade outfits. Yeah, we should trade outfits. Yeah, I should. <laughs> it yeah, should right. Work. I don't know if I can pull it off. Was there anyone uh, that you met there that you really were dying to meet? Yes, um, Lizzo. So theoretically, we had met before, but you know. There's nothing like a second meeting, right? No, of and course. So this is, yeah. I, I knew she was there. I'd seen pictures because, you know, I'm, I'm scrolling and I could not wait to see her. But I kept, like, go somewhere, she wouldn't be there. Go somewhere, wouldn't be there. And I was like, all right, cool. I kind of settled into the fact that I wasn't going to see her tonight. And I was going to probably reach out like, oh, my goodness, you look like a goddess. And then ran into each other on our way out. And it was fantastic. And she's unbelievable. Yes, we're both Minnesotans. Oh, is that so right? We're, we're spiritually connected. Uh, I, I, I saw a little video uh, that uh, Lizzo made. And she made a little <laughs> prediction. Watch this. Here's you and Lizzo. Yeah. <laughs> Make it a prediction. I love her. She was here uh, and she just destroyed. She rocked it out. Mm -hmm. uh, let me tell, last time you were here, we talked about 18 by 18 yes. initiative. Uh, what's, what, what was going on with that now? Yeah. That so since then, so since the last time we held our first summit, um, we had about 150 students that we flew in. So each state was represented. And it was pre-midterms um, and really just had a large conversation about what we needed to be aware of going into midterms, voting initiatives, as well as things that we should be doing on a local level. Yeah. Um, and in the meantime, every delegate has been working on their projects, and we're really excited. There's going to be more information soon, but we're holding a summit later this year. Wow. Um, getting ready for general elections. I love that you're doing this. And I'll be voting for my third time. Hey, it's, it's big, right? <laughs> yes. That's right, because you didn't vote last time you were too, you yes. were about to vote. I was about to, but I have voted in my primary and my midterm. Hey, good for you. That's fantastic. <laughs> Uh, did you make a big deal about it? Cause oh, for sure. Um, because I'm a, like, I, I study for tech. I'm a nerd. So um, I, all my friends, we were on FaceTime. We had all of our sources listed, like yeah. full work cited kind of situation. Nice. Annotations in our book. See, come on. That's it. Are you going to get any time off? Yes. My family works hard and plays harder. So we are going on vacation, but we are going to start filming Grownish Season 3 soon this summer. So I'm really excited. Gosh, it's just Season 3 already. Mm -hmm. But are you doing anything fun? Are you learning how to drive? Because I'm, I'm 19, and I, I guess that's a skill I should have acquired. <laughs> you don't know how to drive? I know. If, it, if this counts for anything, I'm great on a jet ski. <laughs> so, as long as I'm not in a landlocked country, I'm set. <laughs> on a jet ski, you're good? Yeah. Well, no, on a jet ski, I'm awful. See, I'm terrible. You know what I do on a jet ski? Mm -hmm. I, I go as slow as possible. No, the and I just, like, check out things. The thing is, what's a great motivator is that I'm afraid that a whale's going to hit me. And so that really pushes me to go faster. <laughs> <laughs> really? See, I would, that would never cross my mind. I wouldn't think yeah. of a whale. I was thinking maybe like a different boat or something. Right. Yeah, yeah. That, but a whale, maybe, though. No, I, I didn't see that happening at all. But you, uh, you told me that I, I, at one point, I remember that you like sleeping in cars. Oh, yeah. So the, my 16-year-old brother already has his permit. Yeah. Um, so my goal is for him to just move a little faster than I am through this process so yeah. I can still sleep in the car. Yeah, because um, you, you take it as nap time. Yeah, it's officially nap time. And so luckily, I, I have a lot of faith in Saeed Samuel Shahidi, and yeah. hopefully he's okay driving me to work this season. <laughs> uh, let's talk about uh, uh, Gronish. So this yeah. is uh, season two, the second half, yes. is about to... Uh, pick up about to start mm -hmm. right now what's happening with uh, your character now um so zoe has just been cut off which is kind of unfortunate she lives a very expensive life so we'll see what happens with that but the last episode um her father and grandfather made an appearance which was pretty intimidating she just found out <laughs> that her best friend is dating her ex um and so there's there's lots of drama on the grownish set yeah, there <laughs> and is, yeah. we have 11 more episodes to explore it but you have that and you have this movie out. yeah the son is also a star. Mm -hmm. Congratulations on that. Thank that's, you. That's fantastic. It's really exciting. Uh, you want to explain to everyone what it's about? Yeah, okay. I mean, it's, it's a hefty movie. So um, I play Natasha, who is of Jamaican descent, and it, it takes place in 24 hours. Love story. She meets Daniel, who is of Korean descent, and he's choosing what he's going to do with his future. And he says that he can convince her to fall in love in a day. The only issue is this is the day before a deportation. And so you meet her on this really chaotic day in which she's going to lawyers, trying to get the removal reversed. And there's this boy lagging along, like tagging along. 
and adventure ensues. Uh, you shot this in New York City, right? Yes, all over New York. Did you have fun? I had the best time because before that, my experience of New York had really been like Times Square at five in the morning, like in a black SUV. And I realized that that's not New York. No. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, it's been incredible. The first week was in Harlem, then we went to like Spanish Harlem, then Brooklyn, then Roosevelt Island, then the Planetarium. And so yeah, it was pretty epic. Uh, I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Yara Shahidi in The Sun is also a star. Take a look at this. What's with the notebook? Uh, poems. Poems? What are they about? Oh, no. No, no, no. Wait, let me guess. Love. Yes. Well, I don't believe in love. What if I told you I could get you to fall in love with me? Scientifically. Just give me a day. One day. Today. I can't. I, I don't have a day. Do you have an hour? An hour. Yara Shahidi, everybody! On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.